What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Junior from CR42 Honey. Welcome to another week. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. I know I will. We got a few new toys that we picked up for the channel. We got a 6.5 Grindle. We got a 7.8. And so this week uh, be really, really exciting because we're going to try to see if we can find some ammo for our new toys. Haven't seen uh, much 7 millimeter or 8. Haven't seen a lot of 6.5 Grindle either over the last few weeks, but we got something that we're definitely targeting this week. Be sure to hit the like button for us. Hit that subscribe button for us. I appreciate you guys checking us out every week. I headed to Cabela's for day number one. Uh, let's get it cracking. All right, we haven't been to this academy in about a month. So let's take a look at what they got here. Got some steel K762 by 39. Not sure why they don't have all this stuff out on the shelf yet. Maybe they just haven't put it out. Some shotgun stuff here, some federal brass, nine millimeter. Again, I'm not sure why they don't have this stuff on the shelf. Probably just hadn't got it out yet. 308 win from Remington. Got a couple of boxes of 3030 up here. See some 38 special here. I haven't seen that in a while. All right, we got over here on the shelf. White box, nine millimeter. Some Federal, nine millimeter. Got some self defense rounds, some Monarch 9mm for 1899. Some 40 ammo ink, 380 ACP, 357 C, 380 22 LR. Got 300 blackout here for 2499. Full metal jacket, 6.5 Creedmoor. I think those were $29.99 if I remember right. The 350 Legend. 308 here for $42.99, way overpriced. 7.62 by 51 for $24.99. Some green tip, 5.56. Couple of boxes of this deer season uh, XP. 6.5 Creedmoor. Thirty-three ninety-nine. That is hundred and twenty-five grain. Got some thirty-six here. Uh, Super X. May grab a box of that. More three hundred blackout. American Eagle three hundred blackout. Some more three hundred eight. Got a range pack here, 500 cartridges, 762 by 39 for 229. Range pack of AR-15, 556. And they don't have much shotgun ammo here. But I'll show you what they do have. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Some 303 British back there, six millimeter arc, eight millimeter Mauser, some 6.5 Weatherby, 50 BMG. Uh, we got here some 6.5 Creedmoor Field Dynamics. I don't think I've seen that before. I may take a look at that. Got some more 6.5 Creedmoor back here, Winchester, some six millimeter Creedmoor right here. All right, we move over here. Right, we got some 308, 165 grain, some Hornady, some 40, some more 40 here, some 5.56, some nine millimeter Lawman, some 45 automatics, some Shotgun loads here, some 380 OGs, some more Federal 40 down here. Got a bunch of stuff he had him unboxed in here. See some 300 Weatherby in here, and this is 200 grain. Man, I may grab some of that for some testing. All right, let's see what else we got here. Some 300 Wisdom, 7 millimeter Wisdom, 243. 25 out 6, 7 millimeter rim mag, 270. Uh, even got some 150 grain, 270 down there. More 300 Weatherby, more 25 out 6, more 25 out 6 here. Move down a little further, we got some 308 back there. 
A little more 308. 300 blackout. 762 by 39. Some 223. More 556. Five, Still got this bullpup here that we looked at a few months ago. Love that rifle. And it looks like he got a Century Arms AK-47 in too that I hadn't seen. All right, so I made it to my home academy. Let's check out what they got. 12 gauge, Barnes, some mini shell, 12.99, personal defense, 12 gauge. Got a bunch of 12 gauge stuff here, some Winchester. Got some Hornady 12 gauge down here. Got some 17 HMR 223. Some 308. I always got a bunch of 308 at this academy. A couple of boxes of 270 Winchesters, 4570. 762 by 39 and 762 by 51. Got a range pack here, 762 by 39, 450 Bushmaster, 350 Legends, even more 308. Said they always keep a lot of 308 here. A couple of different boxes of 65 Creedmoor, 300 Blackout. Started to get a bunch of 300 blackout in this academy too. A bunch of different options for two, two, three here. Okay, another week in the books. Appreciate you guys for riding with us. Uh, we did see a bunch of ammo this week before I show you guys what we picked up. And we do have an unboxing, so make sure you stick around for the unboxing this week. Um, overall thoughts right now. Uh, we didn't see the dip in ammo shortage, at least not in the Houston area that we thought we would see. Uh, obviously, we still got a war going on over between Russia and Ukraine. Things have heated up, and we have gotten a little bit more involved as far as sending aid. Um, having plenty of boots on the ground, don't even know if there's been a lot of discussion about that, but um, uh, we haven't seen the shortages from there yet. Now, there are a few other YouTubers that I follow, and uh, a few of them have also reported that we will see some shifts, especially with the Russian ammo that we get. Um, maybe that'll mean some of that ammo will so, uh, ship through another country. Remains to be seen. But so far, we haven't seen any of the shortages affect us on the shelves. Prices, we talked about that ad nauseum on this channel, aren't going to go back down. Uh, we aren't going to see the prices that we were used to seeing pre-pandemic and then obviously pre uh, this war between UK and Russia right now. So anyway, let me show you guys what we picked up uh, this week. Uh, also, I'll put a link right here where you guys can go check out uh, a few weeks ago, uh, about a week ago, actually, a little over a week ago, the military, the Army decided, the U.S. Army, uh, what they were going to use as their next generation squad weapon. I'll put a link to that video right there where you guys can check that out. Uh, remains to be seen how that's going to affect the AR-15 market. Uh, more ammo, less ammo. Obviously, uh, the Army is moving away from uh, using the AR-15. Uh, in many of the instances, they're going to be using <clears throat> a new 6.8 cartridge. And I'll put a link where you guys can check out that video. Anyway, so what do we pick up this week? Uh, we grabbed a box of this 30 out 6 Federal 150 grain. And this is purely for some uh, comparison testing that we're going to be doing here over the next few weeks uh, with 30 out 6 and uh, trying to see uh, which of these different ammo types work the best for our application. Uh, one, two, uh, a store that we hadn't been to in a while. I had some of this Fiocchi 6.5 Creedmoor ammo. <clears throat> Have not shot this before, so uh, curious to put it through my son's AR, uh, AR-10, which is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and then obviously uh, my 6.5 Creedmoor, my CVA Cascade. Uh, this is 129 grain, so we'll see how I liked it. Uh, my son's Palmetto State Arms AR-10 really likes the lighter grain stuff, 120 grain, 129 grain. Uh, my CBA Cascade has been liking the heavier stuff, so i uh, be curious to see what happens with that. So now let's get into this unboxing. I told you guys we had an unboxing. So let's see if we can get this thing open and uh, I'll show you guys what we picked up. 
think I know what this is, but I ordered a bunch of ammo online too, so I'm not really sure. All right, well, there we go. Okay, so this is the 277 C Fury, and there it is. So let me take one of these out and show you guys what it looks like. So we did get four boxes of this, and you may ask, well, what the heck is it for, and why do we get four boxes? Uh, I feel like at some point this uh, this is going to be hard to come by. So this 277 C Fury, this is the caliber, the aforementioned caliber that we talked about a few minutes ago uh, with the, the Army moving forward with using something new and something different. I haven't actually seen one of these. And that is what she looks like. So <clears throat> it's pretty cool, pretty different. Uh, this is, like I said, 277 see fury now i think they have some of the rifles already available that you can pick up and the last time i looked the prices were like i don't know something crazy like eight thousand dollars for a rifle uh obviously at some point that's going to change and they're going to start making these uh a lot cheaper don't know how long it's going to be but at some point uh and i have never seen this 277 c fury in the stores uh, and i do a lot of ammo hunting but at some point um I'll probably get my hands on one of these. I don't know how long it's going to be. Let me see if I actually have. I, I shot a 6.8 Western video a few weeks ago, and I may have had. No, I don't. So what I can show you is comparatively to the 308. So this is a 308. Obviously, this is a copper. And this is the 277C Fury. So you can see those side by side. And again, right here. The base diameter of those is identical. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, I ordered you know, a bunch of boxes of this because at some point, like I said, I plan on getting my hands on one of those rifles and uh, I already have some ammo for it. Don't think I'll ever see this in the stores or it'll be a long, long time because what the US military is gonna do now is obviously stock up on uh, the new cartridge that they need and they, they need tons and tons and tons of ammo and that's going to take a few years uh, for them to build up their stock so anyway i appreciate you guys checking out this video it's pretty cool uh really really cool to finally get this uh 277 c fury ammo in and um actually it's pretty cool here on the back on the box they have a uh, 24 inch barrel 16 inch barrel and they have the some of the ballistic uh, information for both so BC for both of these is 0.475, uh, which isn't the best, but that isn't terrible. Uh, and the velocity from the 24 inch barrel is 3000 feet per second, 16 inch barrel is 2750. And the energy right out of the barrel for the 24 inch is 2698. So that's some of the numbers from this uh, 277C Fury. Uh, like I said, it's pretty cool. I'm really, really excited and glad I got my hands on it. So for comparison, the 6.5 Creed more ammo, uh, the muzzle velocity is 28.20. So, sorry, the FPS is it's 28.20 with the 6.5 Creed more. And again, <clears throat> with the 277C Fury, it is 3,000 feet per second with the 24 inch barrel and 2750 uh, with the 16 inch barrel. So pretty cool stuff uh really really glad to get my hands on this i appreciate you guys checking out this video and i'll support you guys and give the channel and we'll catch you guys next time junior out